Okay, let me close. Hello, how are you? Johnny, how are you? Okay, yesterday we yesterday we did the more templating kind of thing. Let's do it more today. So once you know all this concept which I am explaining for this my religion, then if I do again in the second project related to this concept, you will easily follow and I can do little faster the things. Since it is first time and you don't know many concepts, so I'm going a little slow. Once you know all the concepts, then website we can build in few days. It's very fast. But since we are doing this first time, so it takes time to understand small, small things. So we yesterday we put all this one with padding kind of thing. We created this part. And we created this. Let's put some title here. I, I put some copied from the internet something. So I put the title as religious belief. So let's see if I have in the in the database. So once it is in the database, I will change it in the database. It will be changed to the website on the website. So let's go here in the database. I will go to the sites and you will see sites may have icon. I put the icons. I put the this one. Thanks without religion is lame. Thanks with same blind. I put it in the database. I put the link which it, this will go and I change this link to browse religions. Let's put the site uh, default title. So this is the title is something which I need to put it for here. So let's put the title religious belief. And in the description. So let's go here and first open this index.php. And we have the we have this title here. So to put the title, I will go to my site information and try to drag it and get the variable. So what is the variable? It's a default title. So I will grab this default title. And I will put it inside this title. Now, if I open this in the website, it will show religious belief. And few text will come. I I have found something from internet. Maybe it will change in the future. That's why I have in the database. I will put some few links. Maybe text one will be faith. It does not make things easy. It makes them possible. Let's put some four or five text here or four text. And then I will say this one. Then I will say this one. And I will put one more. So I put this here, but I want to put this in the database. So let's copy this whole UL tag and put it in the database. We will put it in the database. This is the field which I created for this one. So let's put it in the database and we will grab it from the database. So it is default description. So instead of this text, we will use the default description. To get the default description, I will go here and get the default description and then I'll paste it there. Let's put default description here. So instead of default description, all the UL tag will come and we will be controlling from the database. Okay, so it's saying, but there is some problem in the second character, which we need to fix it. Let's go here and try to fix the second character. This minus sign is not good. And I changed it. 
Now go to the website that is now showing it. Religious belief. I put some views of the religious belief. Now image, I don't like this image. Let's put some religious image. Google.com. Maybe I say religious something on the religious. We have to get some image. Let's put. Maybe I can put this one. So this one, let's try to put this one and see how it looks. So let's go in the database. And here we have default image. In the image, I will put the link. And I'll go in the database. I will open the site information. I will get the image by calling the default image. And this is the text which I want to put it there. So instead of this image, I will put the image which I got from the Google. So let's refresh the page. So it's showing this image. Uh, I'm not liking this image. So let's try to make some different image. Let's try to make the transparent image. I, I like transparent image so that it takes uh, so that background should come from my site. Let's try to see this one. Okay, it's not there. Let's try to get some different image. Okay, let's try this one. Instead of that one, I will change it to this one. And then I'll go in here. I will refresh it. Yeah, it this this one is also not not looking good. I don't like it. Okay. We will change in some time. Now in few minutes, let's make this last part. What is this last part? Life reminder. So we, we put this part and let's put this part. So it's, it's uh, we will put this text first and then we will give some styling to it. So always remember, start with the, uh, start with the text and then change the CSS. So we will start with the text. So this section is blue color. And blue color, we will name it as primary section primary. So here is the last section. I will put the class. Class will be. I'll create the class called as section dash primary. And I can change the color from blue to other when uh, once I'm done. So we can change whatever color we want to put. And we will put that color in the database so that it's easy from the database to pick that color. So I will create the div class container. Inside div class container, I will click the div class row. Inside the row, we will see div class call md6. That is one column. And then I will put another column. Let's put this one and this is another column. So here in the first column, I will, since in the previous one, I have the image on the right side, text on the left side. Here we will put image on the left side, text on the right side. So image part will go on the left side. And the text part will go on the right side. So, and this I will change it to different one. So what we have, we have the primary title. So previous one was default title. Here it is a primary title, primary description and primary image. So only instead of default, we will use primary. Primary image. 
right now i'm putting default and then once i have the data i will change it to primary so let's see how it looks and we will put some css and then we will change to primary so we have this one looking similar to this one because this is taking the default one let's try to first change the coloring of this one and maybe we can uh, change let's change the styling and then we'll see what we can do so this is called a section primary so let's write down some css for the section primary i will create a dot section dash primary let's first put the color background color and in the background color i will say hash 038 3c0 this is sample we can change it later i'm just putting some color text color will be hash fff this color means text color will be hash fff let's put the padding of 60 pixel top and bottom and zero on the left and right side this is the something which we which we gave for this one okay so we got this one and now the image which you are seeing here is a square image but here it is round shape kind of thing so let's change this to round shape image so to change it to round shape we will use in we have used image responsive we will also say image circle once we say circle it will be this kind of circle so now let's find out some other image kind of thing and for this also we will find some other image this image is not still i'm not convinced kind of thing with the image let's try to put some other image let me try this one. Oh, this one does not have jpg i don't like image which does not have jpg in the end let's try this one so i will put this in the default one and i'll go to my religion okay this one is much better than what we thought let me see what is the size of this section So this this is image is coming too big going down. Okay, for now it's okay. We will fix that. I'll see what how what I can do to fix this one. Right now it's taking too much space because section is too big kind of thing. Or it's not taking proper. let's see okay next web is this height is let us say 200 pixel so though though it says some height i can change the height also whatever i want but then it will not be truly responsive uh, but that height is not giving it's not proper it's taking too much space okay let's try to now change this image we need another image Okay, let's try this image. Copy image address. 
okay this still does not have jpg so i don't like to take the image without jpg let's take uh, okay let's take not non transparent image for this because we are putting the circle so let's take non circular image okay let's try this one so i will put it in the primary image and primary description i will copy copy from there and i'll then change it let's copy this one and let's change the description for it i'm putting this temporary then i will put it in the database so what i have to put so i put about points let's put this point this is my first point and let's take second point this let's take this third point so my religion website will have lot of real religions like christianity hindu and all will be there gita and all will be there but user can create their own in addition to what we have currently so let's copy this part and put it in the database okay and Cancelled. I by mistake put it in the wrong one. I have to put in the primary one. Yeah, so this I have to put in the primary one. And here I will say it's here is saying religious belief. Here I will say more religious belief. Okay, let's. Try it now, and here in the description in the index.php, I will change it to primary. I will change it everywhere to primary. So now we are all taking from the database. It's not driven by the hand; it's driven by the database. So we have. Okay, this looks good at least. At least for now. Okay, so we have religious belief. We have religious belief, and we have more religious belief, and we have some slogan, and we have this index page. So this index page is now ready. Now we will move to other page. So for example, I will go to the team page, and then we'll build a team page. So let's build the team page about team page. Let's create the team dot php file. So it will be. Uh, I will copy the index dot php into team dot php, and then I'll do the changes. So let's save this as team dot php. And here I will say our team. this font from the google is fine and style sheet this h1 h2 h3 is fine and jumbotron will not come because jumbotron is only on the first page we don't need all this we don't need all this one I, so i will delete it once this page is ready i will delete all the things so in the team page we will first give uh so we will first in the top we will say something like our team and kind of thing and then we will go and build the team so let's uh, delete all this thing and we'll build again the team page so first will be i will say section class equal to section dash title i will create one section and i will give the class of section dash title 
so this will be the top heading that this is our team inside this section title i will say dev class container and inside container since i have only one row i i will not create row and column i will just put the text <coughs> i will say h1 tag and here i will say our and i will create a small tag and here i will say team right our team because i put a small because i want to put some different style sheet for this part and different style sheet for this overall h1 so our is different and team is in the different tag so we can divide in the style sheet so now let's create the style sheet for this one so for section as title i will say padding should be 10 pixel background color should be hash 0383c0 and color of the text will be hash fff this is will be my so this is my section title with padding 10 pixel background color of this and color of hash let's refresh the team page so it's saying our team it's saying our team but this team is not looking really good so let's try to change that one so here i will say dot section dash title inside this title i have small tag and in the small tag i will try to make different color let's make this color as ccc and i will refresh it so this color is changed a little bit different it's lighter than previous one so it's clear on the visibility so it's showing the our team now i will build the our team part so this this title is same for about us for contact page so let's save this file as about.php and also i will save this as contact.php because this title will be same in both the cases so for if i go to the about one let's change the title for the about one because it is same so the title in the about will be like this I will say about and in the small I will say who are we about us and I think about us will describe our company and our uh, mission and what is this about site about so let's see and here I'm changing this about us this is about us page the body part will be changed i will put the body part but this is the title which i am putting so let's put uh, now if you see this css is common and this css part is this css part is common only we are adding it and it is taking this background image kind of thing this uh, variable so i can take all this css part and put it in some file and then i can use that file in every page so i will do that in shortly once i am done with all the content i will do that here i will put it in one file and then we will make it kind of thing so this contact one will also be having different kind of uh, text kind of thing here i will say contact and here in the small i will say get in touch if i want to see the contact page it is a contact page contact get in touch so we are done with the title for all the three pages now let's go to the team page again to fill the team page so in the team page we will build now the team let's build a team so if we see the team team will look like this one team will look like this one so 
so we have our team meet our developers okay we have to make this one like this our team meet our developers let's put team here and here i will say meet our developers yeah this looks much better than this so we will build now the, the team so it should be looking like this one but now this thing will come from the database so what we will do i will do i can i will put all this information i can put all html tag in the database and i can get it from there or uh, yeah that that is one way uh, there are multiple ways or i can put the json data in the database and i can get the json data so every time i want to change something i am going to this database table and trying to fix it so it's tedious to go to this database table and fix it every time so let's try to put this create a page and try to put this information in the page and get it from there so if i go to the admin panel in the admin panel i'll create a new file it will be site.php and here i will i will update from here from now onwards information this is called a site information and here we have to create one update form right we have to create the update form this is the we have already data in the table now we have to create the form here which will update the record we don't need we don't need something to insert it we are just updating the data so next time if i have another website i will update that uh, the record right now i will update this first number record so to update it i have to create one server behavior called as record set i will say record set and in record set i will say rs edit and i will try to get this record set and what is the record set record set will be from the site from the table sites i have to filter the site id equal to entered value that is 1 so i want to get the record which has the site id of the value 1 if i change the another website there i will change it to 2 and if I create third website, I will change this value to three. So only I will be updating this record for this website. So I will click OK. Now I will create one form where I will update each and every parameter. So it's better I will create this form automatically. I will say update record. In the update record, I will say record update form wizard in the form wizard i will choose the connection i will choose the sites it's taking loading okay site is done and then after update i will be on this page only so we don't need to put anything here and which fields i need to update site id i don't need it site name i need to update site name the site name which is currently pointing to my site site title i should be able to update the site title site domain because right now i put this domain in reality this may not be the domain i need to change it site subtitle this is big one so i will make it as a text area then we have background image so this is a background image right side image uh, right side image this is the right side image and then we have icon one so we have icon one title description description should go to the text area two Two description will be also text area. Let's go to three description. Text area. Let's go to the fourth description. Text area. Let's go to the what is this? 
find out more link which is uh, which one is a find out more link I think uh, find out more link. Let's see what is this one. Okay, find out more link. I did not put anything here. I have to figure out where which is the find out more link. Now, secondary title is the religion so slogan. Description is a text area. Link. Link is this one about.php. I'm okay with this one. Text. Now title is fine. We have text field. Description. We'll put text area. Image is fine. Primary title is fine. Primary description is text area. Image is fine. Our team. So our team can be multiple. You know, our team will be. Our team will not be one person. Our team will be multiple person. So right now I will make this as a hidden field. I need to build something custom for the our team because I don't want to put HTML all this in the HTML. This is complete big text because we have the links and all. I don't want to put in the HTML. I want to take the image separately. I need to take the name of the developer. I need to take the name of the uh, designation. I need to take the description of the developer. I need to take the Facebook, this, this, this account for each developer separately and put it in the JSON format in the database. So I will not put in the HTML format in the database. So I will build some custom form field for this, taking this developer details. So right now I'm putting this form team as a hidden field. And then when I will create the custom one, I will integrate with this our team kind of thing. Then there will be about title. So if I go to about page, so this is the about title. So this about title will not change for whole over this. So we don't need about title. I will delete this part. But description, the one description which will come here, this description part will be definitely there and this image part will be there so i will make this description as text area title about title will not be there so i'll deleting it i don't need it image is fine then if i go to the contact page we need site address so this is the address we need we need the phone number we need the email we need the timings. We need the links. This is the links. So this link also I will take it in the JSON format. So I don't need it here. I will be making it hidden because I will build something custom so that I can take this link separately. One, two, three, four, and I will put it in the JSON format and I will save it in the site links. Then admin email. If uh, something we want to do and when a user will take this address, I also want to save the latitude and longitude. Okay, so let's name it as longitude. Let's name this as latitude. This will be the text field. That's fine. And now I'll click OK. So big form is generated and I will make it as default. I will make this as heading one. I will give the template. So I give the template and I will change this to uh, what is this site information and now what i will do i will put all the css part whatever you are seeing in this css part i will copy this and i will create one file and then file will be 
custom CSS or PHP. I'll put it inside the my religion folder. And in this, I will put this custom CSS part. So all whatever you are seeing there will be here. And now if I want to call this custom CSS part, so I will delete all this one which I created. And I'll just name it as include CSS.php. Whatever we put in the CSS will come here. You don't need to put everywhere same thing. In the about also, I will delete it. I will put it like this. In the team also, I will take the whole and I will put it here like this. Let's see if it is working or I am just... Okay, so it's working. I'm able to see the color. Let's go to the let's go to the site also. No, we don't need it. Uh, we need it the site also. And I will put it inside here. And wherever we are putting this, we also need this part in the top. In the site, I did not put in the top. I need to copy this part in the top. But if I go in the site, site is in the admin folder and custom PHP and the site information is outside it. The site information is outside it. So there is some kind of mismatch. Site.php is inside the admin. So we need to fix that part and I, I, I will not fix it right now. I will fix it uh, tomorrow or Monday because I don't want to deal that thing that's a little complex part i don't want to show you that part now so i will not put it in the site one but i will put it in the index one also i will put this part in the index one so that we should not write again and again same code in this code we should not repeat it again and again in every file i put it in the index one also what remains yeah everything is done so now if i go to admin Site.php. We need to remove this custom part from the site because I will fix something which I'll show you tomorrow. So this whole information is here. Let's let's give the let's give some styling. You know, always I give this thing to the table. So same thing, I will give this thing to the table and everything should come in the container. And let's put... Instead of table, I will say this table. I will close the div tag. And I will close the main div tag here. Let's refresh it. At least it looks decent. So whatever I put it in the database, now I can put it here. I can change the title. For example, instead of my religion, uh, instead of site title, if I go to this main page, it's called my incredible religion. Instead of that, I want something. Maybe I, blah, 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 religion. I just change it to show you. Okay, let's submit it. And then if I refresh it, let's change here. So we can do control it from here. So let's put something more. Now team developers, I told you that for the team, I will build something custom. So what I will build actually, I will build something similar to, I will build something similar to this one, I'll show you. So like this, I have this one, add more image. 
similarly i will take the information of one developer and i will try to add more developers so idea will be same as we did this images part and video part similarly we will be taking more developer first time will be information of one developer second time information of second developer so we will be building similar kind of thing here in the admin page here it will be site.php so developer part we will do after some time this is about description right now i am putting about description some dummy description kind of thing so this is the about description let's put this about description for now image i will just copy this image for now address we will put right now this dummy address phone number we will put this dummy phone number email we will put dummy email okay it's life reminder here will be let's say my religion or tk timings i will put some dummy timings admin email it may be so this site email will be site at myreligion.com admin email will be admin at myreligion.tk latitude right now i'll put some dummy latitude uh, next time next few days we will put some decent latitude right now i'm putting 12 13 bit record all details are updated let's uh, okay so this is fine for today we created this page site information i will be committing everything in the github 